Welcome back. As promised, let's get chatting with the management of the newly listed company. Park Hotels makes a good debut on the exchanges. APJ Surrender is the listed name of the company. Premium of 20%. Though the stock is mildly off its opening high, still holding up with a gain of almost 15% to its issue price. Priya Paul, who's the chairperson and executive director of the company, joins in now to discuss the company's post-listing plans. Thanks a lot, Priya, for joining in. Congratulations on this momentous day for you, the company, and its employees as well. It's been a good listing so far. The street wants to know what happens from here on. You know, importantly, you are raising 600 crores on a fresh issue. The last required or reported debt that you have is close to 581 crores. How much does this debt go down by immediately? And what will the savings on finance costs be in this year and the next? Thank you so much, Nigel, Nigel for having me on this momentous day. I'm really delighted with the way the stock has listed and, of course, the 62 times over subscription. So this primary issue of uh, 600 crores will go out to pay all our debt and uh, bring us to a debt-free position by March 31st. And this will be uh, really uh, freeing for us in terms of how we spend our capital going forward. Interest costs currently are about uh, 50 to 60 crores a year and this will be at zero. So this gives us enough of room to uh, look at our expansion and um, growth for, therefore. All right. Uh, hi, Ms. Priya. Good morning. This is Nigel on this side. First of all, congratulations on a rocking listing. Your investors will be very, very happy with what they're seeing on the screen. But now the onus is on you to deliver. So let's get straight to a couple of numbers. Since you're going to be debt free, you're going to be saving on interest costs. My question to you is, in FY24, can you do a net profit number of, say, around 60 to 70 crores? And building on that sort of a base for FY25, that will be the year where you'll be debt free for majority of the year. Can you do a net profit of close to around 130 crores? Possible? I can't confirm or deny that at this stage, but you will see our results shortly. And I think we've had a very robust and positive, strong growth in the past year. And this, I think, will continue in the years to come. As I said, we will be debt free. We have um, expansion plans of building about 830 of our own rooms in the next few years and taking the company to 56 hotels by 2026. So all this will continue to deliver a positive outlook for our company. Well, I know you can't confirm or deny these numbers, ma'am. Uh, this is Mangalam here. Just wanted to know, because uh, uh, if our calculations are in the right yes, direction, because hotel industry, usually 60% of the, uh, the profits come in the second half of the year. First half, you've done about 20, 23 crores. So you annualize that, you come to close to around 55, mm -hmm. 56 crores, plus some interest cost savings that you will see in the last quarter of this year itself. So that led us to the number of 60 to 70 crores on the bottom line. And then next year, even if this run rate sustains, you save the entire interest cost, you can do about 120 to 130 crores. So Absolutely. you cannot deny or confirm these numbers, but the calculations, are, uh, are, are they fair to assume these ones? I think you've done some good calculations and you'll okay. see our results soon. So that, that, that gives us the answer. I think, Mangla, <laughs> we're on the right track. <laughs> uh, okay. What about the third quarter? You said your yeah, results are right going track, to come. So we'll... Perfect. Uh, what about the third quarter? You said, you know, that uh, a, uh, you will be reporting your results shortly, but it's typically the strongest quarter for the industry. Last quarter, you did 92% occupancy with about 6,000 rupees in uh, ARR. How much better has the third quarter been? So uh, we are, of course, the market leaders in occupancy across the country. And this 92% is a consistent um, achievement. In fact, in H1, we were 93%. So I have no hesitation in saying that that trend will continue. And, um, and that's really been um, how the power of the brand is in terms of loyalty, in terms of repeat customers, and how we build this kind of stickiness with our customers using entertainment and food and beverage. So I think that's the story of the park and zoned by the park, and that's how we'll continue to uh, build it out in the next few years. Okay, all right. Uh, you know, since uh, uh, you know the entire hotel industry is doing so well, what are your uh, diversification plans? By that I mean, I think majority of your business now would be coming from uh, you know West Bengal, from Hyderabad, and you know a couple of other South Indian states. Uh, what's the geographic expansion plan? Mm -hmm. Now you're going to be debt-free. You have more firepower as well. 
And, uh, you know, being listed obviously gives you Absolutely. some bit of an edge as well. Thank you, yes. So we have now 30 hotels across uh, India, not just tier one cities, but in tier two and tier three cities. And this is across the park brand. Then there's zone by the park and zone connect, which are predominantly in tier two and tier three cities. And we see that the way we grow out these, you know, 56 hotels that I talked about, uh, part of it will be building our, out our own properties. We have five embedded land banks under the, in the park um, um, portfolio. So we will build 830 rooms there. We will add um, lease properties and management contract properties in the zone and zone, uh, zone by the Park Connect. And that we hope will, will go much more rapidly in the next few years. All right, uh, Priya, thank you so much for joining in. Wish you good luck once again on this listing. Congratulations. But we'll have a deeper conversation, perhaps with more numbers that you can give us uh, once you report your third quarter results. So we'll uh, hold you on to that and that promise as well. <laughs> thank you. I look forward to meeting you again, Nigel and Mangalam. All right. Uh, thank look you. Look forward.